We're being asked to integrate this. Let's go ahead and work it out. So if we try a u substitution, it fails horribly because if u is 1 minus sine x, then du is negative cosine x, and there's no cosines here. So there's a completely different strategy that we'll take. So we are going to multiply the integrand by something that will let us use a trig identity. And that something is 1 plus sine x. So if you multiply by 1 plus sine x over 1 plus sine x, here we have the dx. And let me put this in parentheses for emphasis because now we can use the formula for the difference of squares. Recall that a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So in the numerator, we just get 1 plus sine x. No problem there. In the denominator, we have a squared. So a is 1, so 1, minus b squared. So b is sine x, so minus sine squared x dx. And so this is equal to 1 plus sine x divided by, now sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we can make this replacement. So this is cosine squared x dx. Now in the next step, we'll break this up into two integrals. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over cosine squared x dx plus the integral of sine x over cosine squared x dx. 1 over cosine squared is secant squared x dx plus, and we want to write this in terms of a familiar trig function. We can think of this as 1 over cosine times sine over cosine. Because cosine times cosine is cosine squared, and sine times 1 is sine, so no problems. 1 over cosine is secant x, and sine over cosine is tangent x. So this is the antiderivative of secant x tangent x dx. And to finish, we'll just integrate. What's a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, tangent plus, and then we need a function whose derivative is secant tangent. Well, that's secant. And plus our arbitrary constant, which we'll call c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video helps.